seen or what you've done in the past. I'm going to incorporate this cordless drill into the process. Cordless drill is clamped to the bench securely. It's chucked up with a deep well socket. Deep well socket is the correct size to match up with the nut on the end of my tip up shaft. This will get the spool spinning and we'll use that spinning motion to get the line on the tip up. I won't have a free hand while I'm putting the line on to run the drill, so I just use a piece of tape to pull the trigger. Like that. And of course we need our tip up line. And we're going to want the line to be able to be free wheeling. Just put that in any kind of a shaft or pin. I put one of these depth charges on the end so it won't come off. Then the next thing we want to do is attach the line to the tip-up spool. Is first, I'll just tie a small loop in the line. Like that. Cut the tag end off. And then take the main line and just run it back through the loop just to basically make a bigger loop. Then I could take this bigger loop, wrap that around the tip up spool and just kind of cinch it down. Uh, but what that enables me to do is to not be doing a lot of knot tying, tag end cutting within the spool itself. Some of the spools are kind of narrow and uh, they're just kind of hard to get in there. So I, I found that's a good way to do it. Um, another thing I do when I'm putting the line on the tip up spool is I like to run it on in a crisscross motion. Um, it's not a huge deal either, but it does help for the line not being like pushed back and buried within the line that already exists on the spool. I put some green painters tape on here to kind of illustrate that. Uh, once I get started, maybe you'll be able to see that a little better. So, I'm going to fire up the drill and we'll get going. As you can see, the line kind of crisscrosses, and again, that's just to kind of keep it from burying itself back within the line that's on before it. Not a huge deal. kind of think you can see where I'm going with that. Anyways, that'll get the line spooled up. Then of course the the end of the line, the leader or whatever you might put on this tip up, has to do a lot with the species of fish you're fishing for. But one thing that most guys will do is they do put some sort of a line mark on here. A lot of times guys use little bobbers. I've seen um, buttons being used and a lot of times the little bobbers are like these ones here. Uh, I really don't like these that much. In fact, I, I kind of despise these little bobbers. One thing I've noticed about these bobbers is they don't really hold the place on the line all that well. And I think one of the reasons is, for one thing, they're small and cheap. But another reason is, when you go to hook the fish, you kind of pull on the line 
and it doesn't really even have to be that big of a fish and you wind up bending the ends of the bobber out like it's it's on here pretty securely right now but then after you pull on it and it might take a few tries it really pulls easily through there just by that one tug on it so anyways and then of course what happens is you'll be fighting a fish this will get hooked on the edge of the hole it'll slide you'll lose your place on the line and either you're resetting the depth or you're putting the tip up back down at the wrong depth if you don't even notice that it moved so what I've been using for a few years now are just the ends of pencil bobbers I cut them right off they're pretty cheap and they really seem to work well and of course all you do with these is pull the spring back put the line into the slot release the spring and they're on there pulling on them has no effect they hold a pretty good spot on the line and they've really worked well for me so for any of you guys if you've had the same frustrations that I've had with these small little bobbers that seem to freeze up get messed up slide on the line um, go ahead and give these uh, the ends of these pencil bobbers a try it really works for me well that's about it guys a few tips and techniques put line on your tip up I hope this helps out uh, again this is Dave Knetter from Knetter Practical Outdoors and thanks a lot and God bless